This video is about our first year on the foiling Necro 17. And it's all about how we learned to tame the beast. Right now we are on our way to Villamura in Portugal for our winter training and we thought it would be a nice idea to take a look back on how all the foiling started. At the beginning we picked up the boat in the Netherlands and then head towards Schoports in northern Germany to do some training for a kilo week. The first challenge was to assemble the boat because there were only instruction for the F-18 and there are some parts on the Nacro 17 like the foils that are not on the F-18 so we had to figure out on our own how to assemble the boat and it took us almost two weeks but then the boat was assembled and we wanted to go sailing. But as always the weather was in our favor so we had to wait some days. Finally we decided we don't want to wait any longer and give it a try anyway. So our first sailing experience on the Nacro 17 was in waves and a bit more wind than we wished for the first time. But anyway, it was quite interesting because upwind, it was just the same like on any other catamaran, but downwind, it was really challenging. So we really were happy that we had the opportunity to go out some days with the coach who already sailed that boat before and we learned a lot especially about foiling because there are a lot of things you have to know um, how to do them for foiling and if you have to figure them out on your own it takes a lot of time so yeah that really helped us to make a big step forward in foiling but there still was a lot to learn after our time in Shabbat and we made a lot of mistakes, we had a lot of fails and capsizes in the first year. If you want to see some of them, we had a video two weeks ago where we showed some of them and if you want to check it out, we put a link up here and also down in the description, so yeah. From there we got away and decided to sail our first regatta on the foiler. To be honest, learning to foil was much harder than we expected and it was way too early for such a big event. But we wanted to see how the good guys can handle the boat and so we decided to sail it anyway. And as always the conditions were not in our favor, so uh, huge waves, a lot of wind and quite a lot of other boats around the course. Uh, this put us in, in serious trouble um, and as we almost crash, crashed into the Russian boat we decided to only sail in conditions we were completely in control of the boat and so at the end we didn't finish a lot of races but we made it to the starting line almost every day. The best thing about Kilo Week was that we finally found training partners and they wanted to spend the summer training in Croatia near Drogir so we decided to join them 
And yeah, it was a great place to train. We had perfect foiling conditions, flat water, really completely flat water, no waves at all, and around 10 knots of wind, so just perfect to learn foiling. But it was so hot there. And when we arrived and we wanted to build up the boat, we had to wait until afternoon because during midday it was too hot to do anything in the sun and there was no shadow at all. So besides of that, it was a perfect place to train and we were really happy. But unfortunately our training partners got injured just after a few weeks, so they had to stop the training and we also left earlier than we planned. And unfortunately they also decided to stop sailing Nacro 17 at all, so we were again alone and tried to find new training partners. Also, we had a great time in Croatia, we decided that it was time to switch to Lake Garda. Because there's always nice wind and lots of other sailors, so it's safe there to train, even without a motorboat. We also decided that it was time for new input from a coach, and that helped us quite a lot. It was also the point where we really started to improve our sailing, and where we were in charge of our boat, or in control of our boat, at least most of the time. This is the end of our complete beginner level and also of this video. In the next one we will show you our winter training and our first real regatta experience. If you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to this channel and see you on the next one.